right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Revolutionary Rev Girl Utena, Utena episode, episode 15. 15. Well, the previous episode was very simple and straightforward. Yep, easy um, to understand entirely. Yep, that's no right. No issues whatsoever. Mm -mm, mm -mm. But yeah, we have uh, probably some Wincest in here. D yes, we do. And and not and not the comedic variety of you know whatever the situation was with Nanami. No, yeah, we're we're basically in a whole new show now. Um, yep. we're we're basically in a whole new show, and in a lot of ways, you know, now that that previous episode is has happened and we've seen it, mm -hmm. that actually gives me a sense of comfort because it's the ah okay, welcome yeah <laughs> now 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 it's just what show are we watching now. Right, you know, the the previous show is done, and now it's just you know we're well, watching the show we watched last episode. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. So let's just get reintroduced to everything. I mean, cool. yeah, a lot of the things that are being utilized here focus on specific aspects of the first core, and so it's just the okay, let's just see what gets reinforced even more, mm -hmm. and uh, just yep. hold on to our butts. That's right. So y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. <laughs> so far, we're three for three, not for not for incest, but for just messed up dynamics between siblings. siblings. Ooh, sister doesn't like that. She's like, no, yeah. no, 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 Wait, no, are no, we no, actually no. going three for three for incest, or is this just the, okay, no, that teacher's no, a problem? No, no, you no, know, I think, sh you know, I think it's entirely just the, like, they don't like the other person being, like, used by the other. Hey. Hmm. I was defeated on the stage of life. I just feel so impotent. Yes. Okay. If this. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Okay. Is that how that works? Hmm. Interesting. Neko,ぜ。あんた no. <laughs> mm. You can do it. <laughs> How much of a cold badass Anthe can be? This puts their dynamics into a whole new light. Mm. チュチュ好きなんですか好きです。僕も好きです。気が合いますね。わあ。うん。じゃあ、姫宮さん、よかったら明日の放課後一緒にピアノを弾いてくれませんか?うん。きっと僕の音楽の先生に紹介したいんです
今度は事故じゃ済まないってはっきり電話で脅されたらしいさすがアリスガー先輩ミキを怪我すやつは絶対に許さない Wow, we,、hmm. this is a very rapid pace for explaining a whole lot of events. Very, like, yeah, odd orders. And piece stuff. at a time. Yeah, yeah. Wait, do they still share a room? Well, they're brother and sister. Oh, you mean, like, actually they, they're sleeping in the same, in the same room?、Walls. Like, I see what you're saying. Post puberty. So, ka. ああ、本当に双子なんだ。君が個性ちゃんなんだ。ミッキーから聞いてるよ。ああ、本当に双子なんだ。君が男装すればミッキーと区別つかないな。あの眼鏡の人。なんて名前だっけ。姫宮安
A <laughs> time machine! <laughs> that was so funny. So is is she just gonna like push Amthi down some stairs if she wins? Basically, she's just, she's yeah. just gonna Zoro backstory her, you yeah. know, mm -hmm. like. Both times now, now that I think about it, it hasn't just been a, I will win the Rose Bride, it's been, I will kill the Rose Bride. <laughs> oh, there's a drink here, I'll just, you know, it'd, it'd be a shame to waste it. Whoa! Damn! Wait. Wait, what? Oh. A blessing of sorts. Okay. Oh, just like that. Yeah. Another heart claimed. Hmm. Well, we now have two, so we're gonna start a pattern here then. Yep. What? What? Wasn't the what the other one though? Yeah. The first girl from the previous episode. Am I a joke to you? Yep. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, that it mean, showed up just right there. Only yeah. for that time, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Maybe because the roses represent the heart and that was an actual expression of affection. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh see. All the siblings are getting closer. Buzz and Woody meme. Yeah, yeah. Incest. Incest everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> like. <laughs> and see, the thing is, is that we have different flavors. Yes. You have, you have, you have your vanilla. Nanami. Like, president Nanami incest. president thing where it's one way. Right. Mm -hmm. Which is primarily, I would say, the typical way because yep. most people aren't into incest. Right. So and it's, it's usually and it's just not even one person and it's unrequited and it's. And it's not super even. Super. Toxic as all well, get out, but not even really done seriously because well, oftentimes her obsession with her brother is I, done with like because so much of Nanami is done for comedy, right? Okay, like th some of it is. Done I think sometimes, it's still but, very serious. No, 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 though. Uh, yes, yes, but like, but now we're getting into like, um. Well, we have two angles here. Let me keep going. Here. Yeah. <laughs> so, so hold on. All right. Vanilla, mm -hmm. Nanami, and the president. Yep. Then we have um. Potentially, uh, potentially not even really like, uh, like not even above board or consensual, consensual, like mm -hmm. with, with the Anthe Akio situation. I don't, yep. I don't, I don't, I don't it, trust for a second that there's, a, that, that there's, uh, there, there's two parties here coming together for a, a mutual, very like, just uh, happy, enjoying the choo choo. Fun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes. Uh huh. It yes. Could be. Death but... by choo choo. So, um, now. The other one here is one where it's actually very subtle. It's not. It's not necessarily even overtly um, communicated. Is that Mickey and uh, Kozue have some feelings for each other? Right. But it's not clear as to how strong they are or to what degree they've each communicated to the other person what those exactly, feelings are. Exactly, because it's a different flavor for each of the. Two people right. we going have a full the other Neapolitan way. vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry, and and yet there's a there's pistachio somewhere in there, you know, like like somehow, <laughs> some, right? So like, yes, it, it, this is this is Neapolitan with spumoni, like like <laughs> like the, it's so 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 there's there's so there's there's Miki, which I would say is the, okay, all right, no, in flavor in grading, putting them in a gradient of vanilla to to not 
right? We've got, we've got, actually probably Mickey would be the... Okay, let's the, move on from the okay. ice cream thing, please. Point Just is, keep talking. Point is, Mickey, his whole situation with uh, uh, Kozue, Kozue, yeah. Kozue, um, is the, ah, they were young, and they were very close, mm -hmm. and then the connection ends up being sundered because of something that he did, right? right? Mm -hmm. And then it's the, oh shit, I wish I could fix this, but there's a lot of... There's a lot of basically bottled up feelings regarding that mm -hmm. because, you know, you're young, you don't know how to process things, all yep. of that stuff, yada, 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 right? Yep. Then you've got Kozue, who, no, it's just straight up, it, it's... Well, well, okay, so no, I, I don't think it's so straight up. Well, okay, no, it's it's all sorts of messy and No, 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 but again, sure, but... I don't think she's even fully admitted it to herself. I, okay, I, okay, that's, that's... There's a lot about this where she's not coming out and just saying... I'm in love with my brother, or even then, there's okay. a lot of this where it's it's almost like there's a there's a possessiveness more than a love. Well, right, there's the possessiveness, but then there's also the fact, because this is a detail that does need to be remembered. Yeah. When she went to go kiss him on the lips, um, and they were both awake, yeah. uh, she she had the, the black rose thingy and all that stuff, so there's a possibility that this is some sort of uh, Persona 4 Shadow type deal, or, or something that is basically making her behave differently differently than she normally would, and it still might be an aspect of her, it could just be straight up mind control, but it could be an aspect of her that is then yeah. basically just being exaggerated and heightened because of the, you know, whatever yes. situation yes. is I, I think there is, a, there is an exaggeration and heightening based on the idea that she's like, okay, I'm gonna go kill Anthe. I right. was, I was yep. willing to go kill the teacher mm -hmm. and threaten him basically with mm -hmm. the, no, don't you dare fucking touch um, uh, Mickey ever again. Right. And, and, and can, and can I just okay. finish here? Basically that that's something where she's very much willing to go and put out all the stops to keep someone away mm -hmm. from Mickey. That's a very extreme thing here that we saw her do, but we have not seen her pursue Kozue outside of the, I want him to be jealous of the fact that I go for all these other boys in front of him. Basically, that's the only way she's done it. Up until now, uh, right? Because even the situation with the teacher, yeah. if you were, to, um, if you were to take it out of the context of everything else, yes. it could actually be a very good thing. Of the stay the fuck away from my brother, yeah, you, it looks you like, predator. It looks like right? you're trying to be a predator, right? right? Him, like, like I will, to, I will fucking, I will, hurt you. I will break your neck, right? Yeah, I will yeah. push you down a very long flight of stairs. Yeah. You know I can do it, and I will do it. And right? it's and it's a, it's an extreme thing of someone who's uh, you know protective. You mm -hmm. know, it's right. it's not necessarily the best way to handle it, but it is a way to handle right. it that it would be effective. You right. Know? It doesn't have to be something that connotates being obsessive. Correct. Right. Yes. She is obsessive, and we have all of the other things to to showcase that. Correct. Yeah. But that's something where it's um yeah it so so there's there's aspects of this where we can see the positive sides of the brother sister dynamic right that has had this other um incest sprinkles thrown into the mix right. basically yep. uh -huh. um because because from a certain perspective it makes a lot of sense that she is not necessarily incestuous she just really doesn't like anybody else having that place um of being the number one uh care right for her brother and yeah. and before this episode the dynamic that there seemed to be between them yes we knew it was something that she would do to specifically get spite under him. mickey's skin and spite him because but that of could, their past because of their past sense but, as well right that doesn't have to be something where she has like you know she repressed could be thoughts for him or whatever yeah. it could be resentment it could be there's a yeah. there's a damage to the relationship and no one yep. can get under your skin like siblings can right yeah, totally, so totally. so both in the maybe mickey got under my skin but also i know how to i know how to Bug this him, is a little right? bit of vengeance. Yeah, exactly, yeah. right? Because I'm gonna I'm gonna do something where he where, that'll make him think that he needs to actually be concerned about me and like, wait, is she gonna be okay? And no, I'm actually I'm doing that specifically to push your buttons, right? Yep. Which adds context to the parts we had before with right. her and the president. Yeah. But you know, um But then they but, sprinkled in the the the, the incest sprinkles. Exactly, right, right. So just so a, this just is a, just a very, you know, very intentional bit of seasoning. There. Exactly right. It 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 doesn't it doesn't overpower the Sunday, but it is very much in the Sunday. So, yeah. um, yeah, yeah. So that's that's just what's going on with Kozue. She mm -hmm. ends up going and initiating things within whatever this ritual thing is in order to set up somebody to then have a black rose ring, which can then be used to initiate a duel because they're then able to grab a sword. Um, from somewhere, basically, mm -hmm. they're able to get that uh, 
ability. Um, but um, there is a couple aspects to this. When mm -hmm. they lose, when they lose the rose, basically, they lose all memory associated yep. with the thing there. We uh -huh. now have a pattern. We now have some things mm -hmm. that we can draw for here that aren't unique to yep. the individual duelists. Um, they end up getting a sword by means that are not exactly the same as the way in which other people grab swords because these have some uh, kind right. of similarities to the way that Utena grabs a sword yep. from mm -hmm. Anthi. So uh -huh. they are channeling a power, but it is fake. It is something that is... It is something that is more tied to their own personal mm -hmm. um, struggles and or emotions rather than um, the whatever the bond or the spiritual supernatural connection is between the champion of the duels and uh, Anthe. Oh, the, sure. The, the, the Rose Bride by uh -huh. Ascension. Yeah. yeah. I and, and by contrasting with the previous episode, there's also a few things that we can garner about maybe how some of the, the rules of this world are, right? Mm -hmm. um, one... It, I got the vibe that Kozue, because she had a closer connection with Mickey and was able to get a sword from that, mm -hmm. she actually was able to give Utena more of a run for her money. Yes. And Utena needed to have Anthe bless the blade so that, and you know, once she did, then it was then it was done. But until yeah. then, it's the, oh shoot. And it wasn't because of just technical skill. Because right. Utena has fought people with just a bunch of technical skill before, and that's its own thing. Yep. Kozue, as far as we know, does not have any actual no, big she, training. She was with literally the, with channeling the Mickey, basically. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so okay, that's a thing that's good to know. Mm -hmm. Two, she went with intention to become a duelist or something of that nature. Mm -hmm. In the previous she episode, knew. right, she knew what was up. Mm -hmm. In the previous episode, it felt very much like a thing that the person didn't necessarily sign up for, but they went to a place where they're like, I need I'm help. I'm low enough that I need this. Right, I need I need an, an interviewer or whatever. Yeah, that's why I feel like the visuals of what we're seeing are mm -hmm. non-literal. It is something okay. of a mental or an emotional state that the person reaches where they then make a wish basically upon mm -hmm. um, whatever the supernatural rules are of this environment. Yep. And these beings, the the two of them, uh, shoot, we have their names here, uh, Mamiya and Soji. Right. Um, uh, basically then grant them the ability to then interact with the, mm -hmm. you know, Rose Bride mechanical stuff there. Yep. And thus we immediately get everything shunted there with this very, like, forcible, like, force, forced kind of, the story literally rewrites itself to mm -hmm. make that stuff just come about and happen. Utuna has very little will, it seems, with regards to this as well. We just see her kind of getting the card, and it's just like, okay, I do right, this I, now. Okay, yep, mm -hmm, I'm, I'm defending on the you know? exactly right. One of the other things, though, that I think is interesting about the fact that the sister was able to go there and and all of this mm -hmm. is that um, one, the memory of her even going there was also wiped. Mm -hmm. Two. That means that this is something that either everyone in the school knows about other than Utena, which I think is unlikely, or there's something else that some kind of urban legend or whatever of like, hey, you know, if you're if you're ever in a place where you really need help, you know, whether urban legend or like go to the school counselor that's at this place or whatever. Right. And, they'll, and something mm -hmm. that is basically the OK, I know that if I'm in a bind, if I'm really torn up inside, this is where I go. But surprise, surprise, it's not what they expect. And then that's how this ends up happening, right? <laughs> Never leaves any survivors. No survivors. Then where do the stories come from, I wonder? I don't buy that at all. Okay, because that's, of the that's memory, fair. Because of the memory re re uh, right. erasing thing, there would be no stories of people's wishes succeeding or not. But then how do they know to, how do they know to go there? They're not going there. That's the thing. I don't think that's literal. I think that is entirely something of them being in that emotional oh, gotcha. state. gotcha. So not just the things that are in like the elevator shaft or whatever, but the room that they go into. Yeah, it, all of it. That uh, that, whole, that thing whole thing is just not actually okay. Yeah, it's it's a thing that is that is a part of the supernatural and it is there to give the audience, I feel like, context as to what's going on. All right, cool. and if they go there, there is some very big other questions that I feel like we need to get into as to rather than why it works, but as to what leads somebody there that would override their mm. will. Well, yeah, because that is that is actually a good point because if if the memory wiping goes uh -huh. past, like, before they mm -hmm. actually start to go there. Yeah, exactly. Then there's, that could be a retroactive thing, or it could be that there's tampering with the mind at that point. Mm -hmm. Because also, the way they were handling the rose in the cage, almost like, oh, could this be someone that would be a, a pretty good, you know, Exactly, right. It's the, there. it's the, they initiated, not Kozue. Even though Kozue kind of did. They could it, only use Kozue probably because of her emotional right, right, you know, exactly. stuff going. She was going she was someone that was vulnerable to their attack, basically. Right. But 
So they just they're, watched they, her and waited for the right, right moment to pluck the They the wouldn't flower, be able yeah. to actually strategize if they were entirely dependent on someone coming to some point all on their own. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. They, like, they wouldn't be able to use it. They'd just be able to be like, okay, well, that person's, we'll have to do something do with whatever them we can, yeah. in, in a week when they're, you know, ready or whatever. Right. That's that's why I feel like we're, we're we, we've shifted the status quo to the point where even the editing of the episodes feels formatted differently, where we're jumping around so much that it's the... Okay, we need to keep up with every single character a mm-hmm. little bit in every single episode, and or for the most part, right? And then see like, all right, they're adv- they're progressing in this direction, this direction. Okay, cool. So the story is going for the larger, grand scale mm-hmm. approach, where rather than moving one or two knobs up based on who's getting the character focus, we just kind of push them all. all, some more and than that, others, but... but right. But that makes the story feel more like they're all marionettes on a stage, yes. performing a play. I was, ver- and some people are being kind of getting the most activity you know i was very surprised by the stuff that we got with nanami this episode i mean yes i'm i'm a fan You're of nanami partial. as a character right i'm yeah. partial but <laughs> yeah. but the stuff that happened other than nanami going to the you know student council and being like i'll be a fill-in president which sure yeah that stuff is definitely done and by she gave a unique relation. monologue here she I'll... gave a unique monologue which is interesting but the fact that we touched base with the president again of oh he is still moping right that's something that I didn't expect to happen because that was established in the mm-hmm. previous episode, which is good because that's the new status quo. But the right. fact that they touch on it a second time in a row, episode-wise, that that is that is an intentional choice because they're doing the we're going to touch on as many people as possible mm-hmm. in each episode, right? right? Rather than just, you know, he's out of the picture and then maybe six episodes later, it's the mm-hmm. we get a tiny montage and like upon his return or something. Right. But... Yeah, the cannot break his age shell, a chick will die without being born, so it seems the mm-hmm. same for them. And then it goes, oh, the chamber of freedom and the cage of freedom. Without revealing the vastness of the sky, both care for the chick, smash the world's cage, and then for the revolutionary of the world. Yeah. Which is, okay, interesting, rather than... It's similar, but... It, but, it's, but it is different. It We're is different. We're on the cage now, mm-hmm. which is like, uh, oh, okay. Right. And then, then the vastness of the sky, like... It's like... Okay. Maybe that ties a little bit I mean, bit the, to the world the, egg kind of situation. Sure, I was thinking that potentially ties to the whole idea of the castle being this thing in the sky oh, that okay. is potentially obfuscating mm-hmm. the sky's vastness. It's a it's a form of something that uh-huh. is not real. It's like a it's like a it's like a it's like a representation of something that is intrinsic to the uh power of dios and the thing that anthe and um akio are clearly trying to utilize in some ways sure Utena. Uh-huh. and thus the cage is like some aspect of this environment the the place of the duels the the school mm-hmm. itself where like nanami is starting to realize maybe a little bit by extension that the president is being adversely affected by this because he thought wait but i'm connected to right, end of the, the world. chosen one or whatever. i thought i was the chosen yeah. one and it's like nah you were just fucking used and spent mm-hmm. and yep. utina the main character sorry you're not the protagonist of the story nope. and now nanami's like fuck my brother is disheartened well, i mean because... yes that sentence is in her yes yes head, exactly right. but the comma is important Jacob. <laughs> so so <laughs> in this case here <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the oh fuck comma my brother is in a situation where he's been downtrodden and broken and 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 beaten what can i do ah well i clearly well, need to help him break out of this cage yeah, that's been you know, right. put on him and you know? and there there was a there was a briefest flash of like a frame after after the, the ed that that had blonde hair at the bottom of the screen <laughs> and i'm like wait a minute <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I mean, Nanami does make sense as someone to potentially have the next duel. Oh, n- yes. Because... Right, she's being set up in this episode. <laughs> Absolutely. Right, right. But, but here's here's another thing, Jacob. This mm-hmm. is something that you could get really excited about. I mean, I like Nanami as a character, too. Yeah, yeah. But I know you really like Nanami. Is that, in, in some ways, she, she has reasons, theoretically, to eventually end up teaming up with Utena. Right. Because Mm -hmm. if she finds out what what the forces behind the scenes have done to manipulate um, Toga, um, it does feel feel like the kind of thing where she will either get, you know, murked before she can reveal anything. Totally. Or, Mm -hmm. or, 
she's going to basically figure out the truth of the world a la uh, uh-huh. s- many other characters in other stories. Right. And instead of getting, you know, killed in a telephone booth, you know, she could just end up, you know, end up passing this along to the rest of the student council. Right. I don't know. Okay. And then they could all become protagonists alongside them as well. And then I, yeah. I got this image in my head and this probably goes to show just how just how skewed my enjoyment of, of <laughs> Nanami is. <laughs> But I, I, I imagined. You still in, want her to summon elephants? No, 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 <laughs> no. I imagined an Aerith situation like Final Fantasy VII. Where okay, it's be careful for spoilers. It's a, it's a thirty-year-old game. <laughs> but, but it's sad because it's like, yeah, it's actually like twenty-five years old. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Game, yeah. But like, she goes off to fight the, the, you know, the villain by herself, and then it's like, oh no, you shouldn't have did that. Oh but, no. like, you know, completely different archetypes. <laughs> <laughs> completely different. So. Completely. <laughs> Completely different, but uh, oh my god, this episode! The, uh, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. Uh-huh. it's. I still can't get over the choo choo, but yeah, but see, I actually think there's something in depth to this a little bit. Okay, okay. The idea that Mickey came over with the like, mm-hmm. hey, Anthe, you know, I, I kind of like you, but I can't really just say it. it yeah, was just like shipping, like, mm-hmm, uh-huh, mm-hmm. Uh-huh. yes, go, go. I yep. I love this side of Utida where she kind of takes a step back and just kind of, you know empowers yeah. people be like because, yes go little boy because she's dream. such a disaster lesbian she doesn't realize that the two of them have the hots for each other already so she's actively like rooting for somebody that is essentially competition but not actually competition oh, no, you know no, not competition right. at yeah, all yeah, i exactly. think if anything she sees this as cute as fuck anyway. oh no absolutely absolutely yeah but the idea that uh you know on the like kind of corrects Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, wait, well, actually, no. Is it Anthe that corrects that, or Utena uh, that corrects the whole I, pronunciation thing? I think it's Anthe. Okay. Oh, no, that's that's Utena, that's yeah. That's Utena, yeah, yeah. Right. Right, so Anthe likes that. Right, she, wait, oh, 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 God, oh, God, wait, 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 Caleb, 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 yeah, yeah, Caleb. yeah. yeah. She said, I like that name. She didn't say, I like that name for this creature here. Uh-huh. So, so she's essentially saying, you are my little pet mouse, big brother, as I, uh, well, yeah. So, so, okay, okay. Wait, okay, wait, okay. wait, 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 right, wait, right. wait, so, wait, no, wait, hold, hold the fuck I'm up, hold I'm the a, fuck up, yeah. hold the fuck up. Mm-hmm. Are you saying that Anthe is the one who's got... So Akio wrapped around her finger. I'm about to bust this wide open. All right. No way. Okay. 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 No. I'm I'm seeing I'm seeing eternity right I now. I can I can start to see the code that you're starting to snort. All right. Okay. Snort, okay. My okay. Friend, like all the characters in this show are super fucked up, right? Yes. Utena is the one that is the most normal of all of them, and yet <laughs> seems different because she wears the, the boy's uniform and things like that, right? She is being true to herself, and then as a result of that, she's kind of able to just be a regular person, regular functioning human being. Anthe is set up to be, uh, initially, the damsel in distress, the princess, the helpless person. Mm-hmm. What we have, What we got introduced in the previous episode is that she is very much not just as she seems and that she might actually be like legitimately well, was, scary. Yeah, that right? was almost in the, uh, the, the recap episode uh, yes, too. Yes, that yeah. too, that yeah. too, right? But if we were to continue to turn things on its head, Right, which this show is about revolution. Which this show is about. So you know about so, like right, right. So, so not necessarily yeah. that I think it's something that's been uh, immediately foreshadowed as far as details and mechanics with regards to this specific yeah. relationship. Yeah, Anthea is duplicitous. But thematically, yeah. Yeah, but I don't think she's necessarily uh, <laughs> the the one in power here necessarily. I, I don't think so. She's either. the Rose Bride, and I feel like that's that's a that's a very important thing that we don't fully understand what that means. Right, but if you think about it, if people want. The Rose Bride, if they want to, in some cases, they want to replace the Rose Bride. Rose Bride has Anthe a lot of power. is Palpatine sitting there with like these, yes, like, do it, like, Utena. Like, this, do is, it. this is do something it. where I don't do think it. the chances are high, but I think they're above 10%. I, I, I see where you're going like, with this. Like it's, it's something... I see where you're going with this, yeah. Yeah, I like the code. I like the mm-hmm. way this kind of strings about through the story. Uh-huh. The main issue I have mm-hmm. is not really about what this does with... Anthe, uh-huh. but what this does with Utena really? Because okay. Utena having a Anthe who's like, yes, can you do it. <laughs> like it, it, it but, leads to a situation where I'm like, but, but, but they have to like. So 
So, so, what, so where, here's, where does, so here's what, you, here's you, what I'm thinking. Here's yeah, what I'm yeah. thinking. Okay. Let's say it wasn't that. Let's say it was the more traditional thing, and then you have some climactic resolution, right? Uh -huh. And it's Utna dealing with another antagonist. The problem is, is that yeah. the antagonist has to either then show connection to the main character or something like that, or be engaging on their own right. And let's be real. Whatever antagonists they bring up in this show are not going to be as interesting as Utna and Anthe themselves. Not true. Not true. Definitely not true. We're mm. still we're still like 25 episodes no, okay, away yes. from the end of there, the show. Okay, there is plenty of time for them to uh -huh. potentially change that if they so desire. I think that's what we're doing. I think we're we're building up Soji and and Mamiya oh, yeah. by one angle there. Yeah. We're gonna build up Akio as well. Mm -hmm. Like all three of them have potential to be big antagonists. No, no, no. big antagonists as far as like um No, as, like emotionally as... too. Sure. I'm with you. Because I, I think this show has the I think this show is definitely capable of doing I'm that, with right? you in that Anthe is definitely duplicitous, mm -hmm. but the difference is that when we see her in these situations, in basically Utana's and her room and stuff like that, we seem to see this side of Anthe that almost is slowly unveiling like a flower, where she where she's slowly mm -hmm. cracking and showing little right. parts of her true self. And I think that's it, is that she is one of those people that's not free by extension of being the Rose Bride, but in the midst of that, she is absolutely scheming the fuck out of this, mm -hmm. but has either a very low bit of self-esteem and is letting Akio do stuff to her. Right. Or at the very least is getting some kind of power trip out of this because she knows Akio wants her in this mm -hmm. way. Right, it's and, a, and, a Jamie Cersei situation where it's, it, they're both fucked they're, up. They're both fucked up and they're both but um, neither of them are the main they're, antagonists. They're both a bad influence on each other. Right. They're right? both. They're both. They're both. You know. Right. But it, but it's the thing in that there is conflict. Mm -hmm. But they're not. They're not like. Right. Yeah. But picture it for a second. If it was on the right. Oh my god. No no no, okay. no 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 no. From the standpoint of how that would be for Utina and Anthe as as essentially two leads, right? Where then, with also the romance that's there and them growing and and all of that stuff, but it's something where. Um, Anthe is ultimately the one in control, and then that allows it to be more of a focus on her heart and, and who mm -hmm. she is as a person. But then I think right? they're going to go into some weird mind control, brainwashed, memory swapped, some kind of thing there with Anthe where she's not she's not fully herself then. No, no, but that's, no, but that's why I, I'm saying... I, I just it, don't like it, that. No, no, right. And that's why I'm saying if they were to do something like that, it would... You, you don't have it do that. Give Anthe the ultimate agency where she is truly the, no one's coercing her or whatever, right? Mm. She is actually the one in control here, mm. right? And then it's about, you know, the 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 miracle of love, right? That, I, that is able to then. Yeah, yeah, no, I, yeah. no, no, no. I feel like, I feel like that's, I feel like that's something that uh, works in part. Okay. Not in full. I, I don't feel like that works in full. There's a, there's a couple things here that I feel like Anthe being the one who's palpatining this shit. And when I say that, I mean like she's manipulating everything in that regard. We haven't gotten enough of her character in order to do that. I, I don't think we know her well enough in order to actually mm -hmm. pull that off. Well, and, 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 and to and, be fair. And that's why I think that she's not free. She is She is caged. She is, okay. she is in, hmm. and you can have someone be scheming in the cage no, because right. she has a lot, it's a large cage. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And there's other people in the cage, right? With and her. the cage might be, might be, you know, not the school. It might be more of the, the world, world, you know, yeah, right? Yeah. Kind of a deal. But and and not to say that I think that everything is all going according to Keikaku or whatever. But that specifically with regards to the situation with Akio and uh, Anthe, maybe it's not, maybe not all is as it seems. But, you know, you, but 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 what what is what does it seem that makes you think that there's so violently a difference there? What do you take it as right now? I mean, there's the there's the obvious stuff, you know, is that, you know, she seems to be being coerced in some way, right? She has to visit him, you know, on some kind of regular basis. It's some kind of fucked up incest situation, right? You know, um, and and she is also scheming because because she is being proactive and all of that stuff. Yeah, and, so you can have that be the case, and that's exactly what I'm saying, and still have that be the same thing there. I'm just saying that your answer is too binary. It doesn't have to be none of that. I'm saying it is mm. part of what you're saying there. But it absolutely is still this here. No, right. But as far as which one is more of one versus the I don't the other. think, right, right. I don't think that's the argument you're making. You're making that it's way more in this end. Here. No, no, yeah, right. Uh, and, not not as like a 51, 49% kind of a thing, but enough to right. be a majority, right? Right, right. I don't, you know, I, a, a 67, 33, I don't think you know. we. I don't think we have enough to make that kind of thing there. All we know is that there's multiple parts. And the main mm -hmm. part 
at the very least that is obvious is the, right. the simpler part exactly which here. is which is why i'm saying that i don't think this is like this is not something that i believe has been established with a lot of um uh facts foreshadowing etc things like that but that it would be very thematically on point i think if that were to happen and i think there are some little details there like what that, though like sorry like, like the whole call me crazy choo choo thing right if that that could be just some weird silly thing that's thrown in and it's just a you know why not right or it could be something where it's specifically it's the you i am i am seeing you as my pet y okay right because okay. because she was actually jealous of his fiance right like that was something that was established she was giving the the death stare you know so even if there is some coercion it's still some kind of you know like fucked up situation right okay but i i I, st I still don't see where this leads that it's it's more in that direction other than uh, anthe has some uh, uh anthe has some emotional problems and and very much needs this situation that she's in in some way uh right like right no I, again i think i think you're right the stuff that the show has set up so far is very much the more straightforward situation but i'm saying i think it it we could end up getting a situation where in the future it is revealed to not be that yes yeah. i i have already kind of agreed with that as well oh, i think okay. my main thing here is that the the main thing is that Right now, we're seeing a, a very creepy, untoward kind of aspect of this here, and I don't see the point in, in going so hard the other direction off of the tiniest little thing here because we already knew that there was a complicated thing to this here. Yes. This is just confirmation of that. This doesn't mean that it then swings all the way in the other direction where it's actually more... Uh, uh, more part that she's actually has like tons of agency because she said, you know one one little uh, term of endearment here in the uh the episode i guess this is more just the thing of where i think we need to backpedal a little bit in mm -hmm. that the point that we made before this was right. that there was clearly some non-zero part of it to where anthe had agency now right. we have confirmation of that by the choo-choo part but you're going and saying now it's more the other direction that, theoretically just because they decide to show that at all that there is potentially a possibility that the that um not that she has more agency but there there are far few limiters on her agency than we initially believed yeah uh, okay yeah. yeah i i guess i guess my main thing is i don't understand why it has to be then the let's go maybe this is just something i do a mm -hmm. lot so i'm just weird seeing it from you but the let's go so far the other direction rather than cool this is confirmation of the thing that we already suspected that she has some agency involved here versus the okay now no, right and again and again with 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 how anthe is set up in the show right now all the all the all the 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 you know seeing eternity type stuff that i was talking about that is not that is not here in the show right now but yeah but i think that it is that it is something to worth worth keeping an eye out for because I get I, I I'm getting a, a whiff that it might be going in that direction, okay. but but cool. it hasn't fully yet, right? Cool. We're still in the situation that we're in, cool. that, you know, that we're on the same page with. Right? Gotcha. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I guess my main thing is just that when this kinds of thing, when this kind of thing happens, when you sense like a a, a, a hint in a direction mm -hmm. there, you're you're usually the least likely to then jump to, okay, now it's definitely going this way. And I, I'm just like, wait, wait, hold on, Jacob. Mm -hmm. This show is crazy. Let's mm -hmm. let's hold it's off a little crazy. bit. Yeah. Like, let's hold off a little mm -hmm. bit and just take this as a W that we were right on some level that she has totally. some agency mm -hmm. here. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, cool. Yep. But y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below. For our Patreon, you can get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about the show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. We stream every weekday. The info's in the description. Yes, if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time.